Hi, I'm Jason from the brand Blockout Blinds and today I'm here to show you how to put an automatic awning up and down correctly the first time and every time. When you've got blinds on your mind, call Blockout Blinds. When you've got blinds on your mind, call Blockout Blinds. So you're probably thinking, why do you need a video to put an awning up and down? It's such a simple thing. Well, putting an awning up and down correctly can actually be quite difficult if you're not doing it the correct way. And in fact, you can even end up breaking your window or doing something terrible like that. So we put together this video to make sure that you can operate your awning correctly and you don't have any troubles. So of course, what are we going to need to get started? We're going to need an awning and we're also going to need the stick that comes with the awning to pull the awning up and down. So we have an awning. Um, now I've made things a little bit more difficult today. Um, first of all, I've decided to use a very old awning. This awning is about 30 years old and a bit rusty. I've also chosen an awning which has a big prickly bush underneath it to make it even more difficult. So uh, I'm, I'm picking the worst case scenario here to operate an awning, but hopefully for you, you don't have bushes and you're operating a new awning, not an old awning. So the first thing is pulling the awning down. And the first thing to note, if your awning has not been down for a while, when you go to pull it down, it may be a bit stiff, it may be not pull down correctly. So you might have to use a little bit of force, but of course you need to judge the right amount of force. If you're pulling unnecessarily too hard, well then it may be not in the right position or something, you may be actually breaking it. Also to be aware, um, you know, there could be debris and stuff inside the blind. We've had cases where people have pulled down their awnings. They've had wasps in there, spiders, uh, big amounts of dirt that have built up. So just be careful um, and you should be okay. So you have your awning stick and you have a hook on the end. Now, the first thing that people try to do that is not correct is they go to put the pull down with the pole straight and of course that's harder to get the hook on. So you really need to put it on a bit of an angle so you can get the hook onto the ring that's on the bottom of the awning. So let's give it a go. I'll just get through this bush. You might want to move the flap a little bit to see where the hook is. There it is. Get on a bit of an angle. Now I'm in the hook. Just wobble it a bit. Have a look. Make sure you're in the, in the hole securely. If not, you might go to pull it and you'll fly off and hurt yourself. Now you don't want to pull straight directly down initially. We've got to get the arms to come out. So ideally you want to pull on as much angle outwards as you can. So as you'll see, the awning comes around and this is generally the stiffest bit because the arms which are on the guides here, they have to come around the bend. So it's a little bit, a little bit sticky sometimes. So I'll give it a go. There you go. They've clicked out and they're now in the out position. Now to pull the blind down, we can pull in the downward direction. That's okay because we've already pulled the arms out. So I'll keep pulling it down. Now I've put the hook on from left to right. So as I come down, my stick is going to get closer to the ground, the bottom of the stick. So I need to move the stick to my right so that I can pull the hook off easily. If I put it to the other direction, I'm not going to be able to get the hook off. It sounds simple, but it happens a lot. So I'll put the hook back on and I'll keep pulling down. Now generally with an awning, you'll pull the awning down as far as you can and if it does get into a position where you can actually reach the blind, it's easier to take the hook off and then use your hand to pull the blind all the way down. It's not that often you have an awning that you can reach from the ground right to the top, but it does happen. And one thing you just need to make sure of is that you always pull the awning from the middle. If you, if you happen to be able to reach it from uh, the ground and actually just grab it straight from the top, don't pull it from the left or the right. Make sure you pull the middle because if you pull it from one side, you'll pull it down crooked. It won't slide down correctly and it makes the fabric become uneven and especially don't put it up by holding the left or right because then it rolls up uneven and that's the last thing we want. So there you go, we have the awning in the down position. 
Just remember, primarily these are designed to be pulled all the way down and not in the midpoints. This will stay halfway or three quarters down, um, but ideally you want to have it all the way down. Okay, so now we need to put the blind up and it's a little bit more difficult to put the blind up than down because you're holding against the force of the arms which uh, have the springs pulling them up. So let's see what do we need to do. Well, once again, you're going to be using your hook, but first of all, you want to get the awning as high as you can up by using your hands. It makes life much more easier. The higher it is up, the easier it is to get the hook on. Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the hook not to actually technically push the blind up. We're using the hook to hold the blind flat against the wall. You'll see what I mean uh, when we have a go now. So first of all, I'm going to grab the blind with my hand and I'm going to fold it down. So our aim now is to keep it flat against the wall. Now what you don't want to do is just let go here. Um, I will do it just to show what it does, but this is not what you're meant to do. Ready? There you go. It nearly went all the way up, and we have had clients doing that regularly, which they're not meant to. Please do not do that. It can spring up. It can hurt someone. It flies up quickly. Uh, it's just not the way to do it. So let me just bring the blind back down again. So the correct way to do it is to manually hold the blind, fold it flat against the wall, and hold the blind up as high as you can off the ground. That's about as high as I can get. Have a look where the hook hole is. And I've got trees here, which is a bit hard, so I'm going to hook it on. Now, make sure the hook's on, because you don't want to slip and fall against the window. So I'm holding it. Now you need to make sure you're using two hands. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying force. I'm applying force in that direction to hold it flat. Now if I was to slip off and I'm pushing that way, I could push this pole and hook through my glass and break my window. So that's why you need to make sure the hook's on securely. So with two hands, I'm going to just keep pushing into the wall and raise it up. Now the arms will eventually get to the top and then they'll swing around and the blind is back up and of course I'll take my hook off and my pole and I'll put this away in safekeeping and we now have our blind in the fully up position. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you follow those simple steps you should have no problems. But you need to remember, putting an awning up, it can be a little bit fiddly. It might not be as straightforward as what you initially thought. So hopefully that tip has been helpful, and until next time.